hello friends in this video i am going to show you how you can perform arp poisoning or arp spoofing attack so in this scenario i am going to use my android phone to access this website so normally what should happen is this will send a http request for this servlets.com but it will go through our wi-fi router because this is the default gateway so this request will be sent to this Wi-Fi router and normally it should directly send to this website but what happens when we do the ARP poisoning attack so in this case this request will be sent to this Wi-Fi router but by doing ARP poisoning we are going to act like the Wi-Fi router itself so for this Android form our Kali machine is the Wi-Fi router so this request is going to be redirected from this Wi-Fi router to our Kali machine and then this Kali machine is going to send that packet to its address so that will also go through the router only itself so this is the third request which will go from the Wi-Fi router to this actual website then the reply will come from the website to our router but we are so using ARP poisoning we are also acting as the victim system for Wi-Fi router so for this Wi-Fi, my Kali machine is also working as the Android phone. So instead of sending the reply directly to my phone, it will send this reply to my machine. As you can see, this six number request is sent back to our Kali machine. Then this request, this sorry, this reply should be sent back to our Android phone at the end. So it will forward this request and reply to the router and router then will send it to our android phone at the end so right now it seems a little bit confusing but normally simply what we are doing is for the android phone our system is working as the wi-fi router so whatever re request that should go through the wi-fi router will go through our machine and for the wi-fi router itself we are acting as the android phone so all the replies that should go to the android phone directly will go through our system and it will take a turn and then will get back to the android phone so let me show you what are we are going to use to do this erp poisoning attack so first of all we need to run this command what this command is going to do is it is going to enable the ip forwarding on our kali machine by ip forwarding what we mean is suppose some packets are going through our system but if we don't enable this ip forwarding those packets won't get forwarded to their destination so for our victim it will show that the service is unavailable or you, like uh, the page is not available so that is not something we want so we have to enable it let me run this command So this is now IP forwarding is enabled. Then we are going to use these two simple commands. What is it is doing is using ARP spoof, we are going to use the network adapter as WLAN 0 because I am connected to a router. So I am going to use my wireless network adapter name. Then using hyphen T I have to specify the target name. So my target is 192.168.0.102 ip address which is my android phone ip address so for this android i am going to act like the wi-fi router this is the ip address of router and then using this command for the router i am going to act like the android phone's ip address so let me run both of these commands here So now our ARP poisoning attack is running. So if you are running this against uh, Ubuntu or suppose any Linux system, you are can you can use ARP command to see the ARP cache table. So this is how this suppose 
it says that this IP address is associated with this MAC address so right now I am running it against my mobile so I can't show you what is the ARP table right now but what it will what should have what is happening in the background is the IP address of this gateway or you can say Wi-Fi router will get changed to my Kali Linux MAC address so it will get replaced by this MAC address so this gateways MAC address will get changed to my Kali Linux MAC address and for in the setting of the router the MAC address of my phone will get interchanged by this also so that's how for the victim or you can say my phone my Kali machine is going to act like the router and for the router my Kali machine is going to act like the Android phone itself on Linux you can use ARP command and on Windows you can use ARP hyphen A command to view your ARP cache table so now let's see what happens when I go to the website okay let me clear this using Wireshark I'm just going to see whether the request for the website is going through my system or not so I am listening on the wireless adapter and now right now I am trying to access the www.servlets.com from my phone itself so as soon as I as click on it you can see here that there was a get request for the servlets.com so we can we are sure that our ARP poisoning attack is working fine so what happens when we stop these two commands when I press ctrl plus C you can see it's cleaning up and re arping targets which means uh, it is uh, pairing the actual IP address with its actual MAC address so uh, normally it will take some time on our target suppose still if right now I go to the www.servlets.com it will still capture it why because in the cache the pairing is still the same so before doing anything else I have to go to multiple websites so that the ARP cache table get refreshed automatically and the actual MAC address get associated with their IP addresses so right now I am just going to random websites and let me clear this and now I am trying to go to the let me run it and now I am going to the servlets.com again and as you can see it's running I am already on the www.servlets.com but there is no HTTP packets and if I run this these commands again and do the ARP poisoning now and we are looking for the HTTP packets and now from my phone I am going to the www.servlets.com and you can see clearly that it caught the that HTTP request so this is all about ARP poisoning if you have any doubts you can comment thank you very much